This Sunday also, Jesus continues his teaching on the Eucharist. Last Sunday we have seen, Jesus said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. Father sent me to this earth to become bread. So Jesus came into this world, lived as a human being, suffered, died, crucified, raised from the dead, all to become bread for us. And today, Jesus is continuing saying that I am the bread from heaven. I am the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will not die, but have eternal life. What does it mean? Whoever eats this bread will not die, but have eternal life. Two things Jesus wants to tell us. The first thing is, if we eat this bread, we will have eternal life, life after death. Our soul will not die. Secondly, it's a bread of life in this world. We will have life in this world if we eat this bread. What does that mean? We have two examples in, the, in, the, in today's reading. The first study we have seen that prophet Elijah is running away to save his life because the queen Jezebel was searching to kill him. He was chased by the queen. She wanted to kill him because he killed 450 prophets of Baal. He is running away. He ran one day and he was so tired. He asked God for death. I want to die. I don't want to live. So he lay down under a tree, a broom tree, and he slept there. Then an angel came, woke him up, and asked him. The angel brought the bread and water, asked him to eat. He ate that bread, and he walked how many days? 40, 40 days and 40 nights in the desert without eating any food or any water. He walked 40 days and 40 nights. Can you imagine? Can you walk one day without eating food and drinking water? It's impossible. But that is the power of the bread from heaven. That is the power of the bread from heaven. You eat this bread, you can survive in this world. You don't need any other food or drink. The second example what Jesus is mentioning here in the gospel passage, your ancestors ate manna in the desert, but they all died. But they survived in the desert for how many years? 40 years. They survived in the desert by eating manna. Every day they get manna, they collect manna from the ground. They eat in the morning, they eat in the evening. So the next day, again, when they wake up, they see manna in the ground. They collect and they eat. And likewise, they continue 40 years in the desert. They ate bread from heaven. Manna is the bread that came down from heaven. God gave them manna to eat in the desert, and they survived in the desert by eating manna. Dear brothers and sisters, our life in this world is a life in the desert. You know, if you, if you go to the desert, it's the, it is extreme heat. It's difficult to survive in the desert because it is 
very hot. There are wild animals and poisonous snakes in the desert. You will be killed by any animals or poisonous snakes in the desert. It's difficult to survive in the desert. Again, you don't get any food. You don't get any water in the desert. So it is difficult to survive in the desert. Again, you will miss the way in the desert. You cannot reach the destination in the desert. So our life in this world is a life in the desert. And many people, they were attacked by the wild animals, the evil spirit. Many people die of hunger without eating the bread from heaven. Many people miss the way. They don't know the right way. They travel through the wrong way and they lose the destination. So our life in this world is a life in desert. We need food and that food is the Eucharist. The bread from heaven, that is our food in the desert. That will give us strength to walk in the desert. That will protect us from the enemies, attack of the evil spirit. We will be protected if we have the Eucharist. We will not miss the way we will be walking in the right way if we have the Eucharist. If you don't have the Eucharist, we will become like many people in this world without reaching the destination. Our destination is heaven. Eternal life is our destination. So most people cannot survive in this world because they don't have the bread from heaven, the Eucharist. So we need the eternal bread, the bread from heaven, the Eucharist. And without the Eucharist, we will be lost in the desert or we will die in the desert. So many saints lived only with the Eucharist. You know, there are many saintly people who lived with the Eucharist alone without any food or drink. I want to give you some examples. St. Joseph Cupertino, he lived 20 years without eating any food. Can you imagine? He lived without eating any food. He ate only Eucharist and he lived for 20 years. Blessed Alexandrina da Casta, she lived 13 years without eating any food, only Eucharist. St. Catherine of Siena, she lived more than seven years only with Eucharist, no food, nothing. Servant of God, Florips de Jesus, she's also known as Lola, she's a lay woman, she lived on the Eucharist alone for 60 years, she's from Brazil. 60 years she lived only on Eucharist. And St. Nicholas of Flu, he lived 20 years only with Eucharist. Can you imagine? That is the power of the bread from heaven, the Eucharist. So dear brothers and sisters, when Jesus said, I am the bread that came down from heaven, he wants to live in our hearts, he wants to give us eternal life. He wants to give us strength and power to live in this world. He wants to give us power to fight against the evil spirit in this world. And that is why he wanted to become bread. And finally, he wants to give us eternal life. Everyone who eats this bread will live forever. So dear brothers and sisters, the bread that we receive, it is not a bread. It came down from heaven. It is Jesus Christ himself. He was crucified, died on the cross to become 
bread for us, to give us life for our survival. Let us not forget this. Keep this always in our mind. Let us increase our devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. Every time when we come to the church, every time when we receive the communion, let us keep that devotion in our heart, in our life. Increase our faith. Feel the presence of Christ in the Eucharist that will change our life. We will feel his protection, his presence with us always. And that is the food for our life on this earth, in this desert. God bless you.